How do you trust after so much trauma? Everywhere I go now, everything, every person is has a question mark above their head. Farah and Jared are finding the balance. In 2019, Simone um, was friends with Alicia. Their then 24-year-old daughter decided to move in with Alicia Calderon. The Collin County District Attorney says she was offered free housing. In exchange, she would care for Calderon's children and an older woman with disabilities. As I was questioning her about why would this person want to take you in, it doesn't make any sense. If there's just, there's something missing from it. That's when our communication started to become less and less and less until finally I just had no communication with Simone at all. It was silence until February 2022. Number now, please. It's Simone emergency. From a name he didn't know, Jared got a string of messages. They're gone at the moment. I don't know how much longer. He raced to a trailer home in Wiley, realizing his stepdaughter needed help. I said, I'm, out, I'm outside, I'm with the sheriffs. Can you come out? And she said, I can't get out. You have to move the stones from the door. She was locked in a room, at times in a dog crate, broken, cut, and burned. I just grabbed hold of her and got her into my truck and you know, tried to get her away. And all she wanted to do was just leave. Only 68 pounds. And I opened the door and it wasn't my daughter. It was, but it wasn't. I didn't recognize her. She had a sweater on and it was glued to her body from the burns. Farah thought her daughter wanted independence and never imagined so much pain. It haunts me because I wasn't there for her. As of last week, 37-year-old Alicia Calderon was found guilty of sadistic torture. They sentenced her to 75 years. I don't think that's enough. Their daughter is taking it day by day. This will never stop for us. It'll never go away. It will never stop. Her trauma started with trust. In Collin County, I'm Tiffany Liu. Police also arrested Alicia's husband uh, and Joseph Calderon is due in court in a few weeks on charges of elderly exploitation and abuse.